Okay, we're going to do some compass work for chapter 5. This might be our last compass work of the year, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Okay, so we're going to construct a line perpendicular to a given line through a point that is on the line. Now, earlier we did one where it had a point not on the line. Okay, so this is slightly different from that, and the compass work looks a lot different. Okay, so here's what we're going to have. We're going to have a line, some sort. We're going to have a point somewhere on that line could be in the middle, it's usually not. Right? Remember the one we did before, the, the point was up here, and we did the smile and the chin, and we dropped down, okay? That's different, all right? So here we have a, a line, and a point is on the line. So that's what step one is going to look like. Okay, step two. Remember, pause the video when necessary so you can get this copied down. Make sure you, you jot the notes down, okay? Draw this and do the actual compass work with me. All right, step two, from the point. So we're gonna put our pivot point. Remember our pivot point is a sharp point. We're gonna put that right on the point. Okay, we're gonna draw two arcs that are on the line, one in each direction. Okay, now this is pretty short, so my compass is definitely way too wide, so I'm gonna have to shorten it up a little bit. Okay, so we wanna make sure it's basically short enough that I can actually draw on the line. So I gotta shorten it up a little bit more. It's maybe a little bit shorter than I actually would like to use for my compass, but that's what I have to do. Okay, so that's going to fit there. It's definitely going to fit over here. I cannot change my compass length between the first arc and the second arc. So I'm going to draw two arcs, one over here and one over here. Now turn your paper as you need to. Remember, hold your compass down by the pivot point, okay, and just make an arc. Okay, hopefully you can see that even though it's in pencil, so sometimes it's a little hard to see. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to make an arc. Okay, so something like that. Kind of looks like the TIE Fighter, okay, from uh, Star Wars. Okay, got the little kind of curved wings on each side if we ignore the rest of this, okay? All right, so now from each point of intersection, okay, step three, from each point of intersection, we're going to draw an arc above the line and um, then we're just going to connect. Now you could do both above and below if you really want to, it doesn't matter. Or you could do just below, all right? So I'm going to put my pivot point right on the point of intersection. I'm going to draw an arc somewhere up here or somewhere down here or both, okay? Basically what we're doing at this point is we're doing the football, but we really only need half of it. When we did the full football, we needed a point of intersection up here and down here. Since I already have this point right here, I, I don't need two points to connect because I already have one of the two. Okay, so I'm going to use this and one, or this and one down here. I could do all three, and they should end up in a nice straight line. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to actually do it down below, all right, just because there's this stuff is in the way. So here we go. Draw an arc. Right, I'm going to try to make that a little bit darker so you can see it a little bit better on the video, and I'll zoom in here in a second. Okay, and then we go to the other point of intersection right here, and we draw that arc. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit. So like I said, I know this says above the line, but you can do it below, and if you turn your paper upside down, it looks like it's above, so it's the same thing. All right, so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. All right, so we started with our pivot point here. We drew one arc out here and one arc out here. Okay, make sure that it actually fits on the line. Don't change your compass length. After you do these two, you can change your compass length to come down to here, which can be either above or below. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna connect. And I don't seem to have a great straight edge, so I'm just gonna use, um, let's see what I can grab here. I've got something over here. Or basically anything that has a straight edge will work, so I'm just grabbing the edge of a book. Okay, and I'm just going to connect. So, put my pin here, and I kind of push the book up to my pin. I put the pin here, and I connect. Okay, make sure I've got it right. Okay, and then I connect. There we go. If we did it right, it should look perpendicular. Okay, so hopefully that looks perpendicular. you notice it's definitely not a bisector, though, because this point wasn't in the middle to begin with. And that's it. All right, any questions? Make sure you ask me in class if you have questions, okay? Try this on your own. Make sure you go through all the steps and try it on your own. All right, that's it for this video. Nice and short one. Uh, just a little bit of compass work. It kind of goes with lesson um, on perpendicular bisectors, right? But obviously it's not a bisector.
All right, so we're done with this video.